Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about 19 things I learned in 2019 and I'm not going to lie, I just filmed this video once already so this is the second one and my eyes looked completely different so there's no way I was going to post it. I was like, do I? And as I watched the whole video, I'm just like, no, <laughs> just, just no. So here we are again. We're going to go over this a little bit quicker because this thing's fucking tiny but uh, yeah, let's light this joint. Number one is to turn your anxiety into excitement. So a good example of this for me was when I had to go to the airport with my cats. I felt really anxious about it for a little while and then I realized it would be really exciting and it might be really um, fun to learn if it's something they can do because then I could travel with my cats more. So I turned it into excitement and it really helped me get through the trip. The next thing I learned is to be humble. I think being humble is really um, calming because if you don't reveal too much about yourself or make yourself come off as a lot smarter than you might actually be, you don't have crazy standards to live up to that you might not even realize you don't meet. So that might sound rude a little bit, but um, you know, be humble and I learned that a lot this year. The next thing I learned is to be grateful. Being grateful just uplift your mood, uplifts your mood completely because it can really change your perspective on life when you're feeling really down if you just realize even three things that you're really grateful for in your life. The next thing I learned, and it's obvious because I have a YouTube channel, is um, to document your life. So maybe that's journaling or recording or taking photos for you, whatever it is, you should really try to document your life more. It's definitely something worth doing. Along with that comes to not give a fuck. <laughs> it's something I really learned a lot this year and of course that applies to certain things but it's a good general way to live your life because that way you can really be true to yourself and try to not really care what other people are going to think of, you know, what you wear or the choices you make in life because if you know what you want and you're going to achieve your dreams, they're going to be jealous once you are the happiest person they know and you live a fulfilling life because that's all people really want is to live a fulfilling life when it comes to the end. The next thing that I wrote down is to face your fears. So I think that this really is a, a good way of putting, take chances, you know, do things that are out of your comfort zone because you never know what might happen, the memories you might get or the people you might meet or the confidence you might build. Um, you know, taking a chance on yourself, on experiences, on life, on other people, you know, take a chance and face your fears. Um, the next thing I wrote is express gratitude. So not only to be grateful, but you need to express your gratitude um, Maybe through your thoughts or you know writing it down or expressing it to the people you're grateful for It's really important to express your gratitude The next thing I wrote is to spend time with the people who you consider family because you never know when they might be gone the next thing that I wrote is to have me time. So obviously you time <laughs> um, but that's something really important is to find your uh, kind of calm state of mind that you can get to on your own and really fuel that for yourself because it can bring you to a much more um, stable mindset. The next thing I wrote down was to wash and exfoliate my face. So um, there's a lot of dead skin on your face and there's just so much stuff that comes in contact with the skin on your face every day. So wash your face and exfoliate the skin on your face. And along with that comes using lotion, not only face lotions but body lotion because your skin is in contact with the weather all of the time and um, you should really use lotion because you will thank yourself later in life. The next thing that I learned in 2019 is to get in nature as much as possible. This is really important because nature is the most calming thing I have found in my life so I highly recommend getting as much time in nature throughout the week that you can. The next thing that I learned is to do kind things for others. The next thing that I learned is to do kind things for others um, without the expectation of recognition. Uh, this is really important because it's just really going to uplift your mood and your self-worth because you can um, really understand how much you can impact somebody by just being kind out of the goodness of your heart and instead of wanting it for recognition and just doing it for 
a completely different purpose can completely change the way that you feel and the way somebody else feels. The next thing I learned in 2019 is simply to just smile a lot more, not only at myself in the mirror, but at other people. Next, I learned to fuel my body with healthy foods and not eat as much processed foods because it completely changes the way I look and the way that I feel on the inside and it's really important to me to fuel my body with things that have a beneficial purpose or property instead of just junk that tastes good. The next thing I wrote is to drink a lot more water because we're made up of a lot of water and we need to replenish that as much as we can. Another thing I learned is to try and travel a lot more because this opens your idea of the world and how much there really is out there to experience and it can be really exciting and bring up your mood in such a positive way to understand how much there is to experience throughout your life. Along with that, I wrote down to be more open to every lifestyle I come across. So you're going to come across a lot of lifestyles in your lifetime or learn about them or even travel to places where that's the only thing that they know and you should learn how to respect it and not only that but you should learn how how to really appreciate it the next thing that i learned is to be more confident and express inner confidence to myself meaning through my thoughts and when i look in the mirror and to just think positively of myself in general because this can completely change the way that you see yourself and almost it seems like it changes the way you really do look in real life That's everything that I learned in 2019. I hope you enjoyed having this little joint with me and um, have a good 2020. Thanks for watching.